Welcome to another Anatomy and Physiology Smart Art video where we guide you through an important piece of art. After watching this video, you should be able to describe the five steps in a reflex arc. Notice we have three different kinds of lines to show what's going on. A red line is a stimulated sensory neuron. A white line shows an excitatory interneuron and a black line shows a stimulated motor neuron. Let's start on the left with step one stimulation of a receptor. Here, the stimulus is that you touch a sharp tack, which stimulates pain receptors in your hand. Now, let's move clockwise to step two, activation of a sensory neuron. Your stimulated pain receptors shoot action potentials to the posterior root ganglion and then to your spinal cord. Notice that this red line indicates a stimulated sensory neuron and also notice here, the cell body of the sensory neuron is located in the posterior root ganglion. Step three, the information travels to your CNS for processing. Excitatory neurotransmitters are released by the sensory neuron, which stimulates an interneuron. This interneuron, shown here in white, integrates this information from the sensory neuron with other arriving stimuli and initiates step four, the activation of a motor neuron. This motor neuron, shown here in black with its cell body located in the anterior horn of the spinal cord, sends action potentials to the periphery via the anterior root of the spinal nerve. Simultaneously, the interneuron may relay information such as pain to higher brain centers via axon collaterals. In step five, motor neuron action potentials trigger the release of neurotransmitters, leading to the response of a peripheral effector. Here we see the signal branching to act on several skeletal muscle fibers. These muscle fibers located in your arm contract to withdraw your hand from the painful stimulus. In summary, a reflex arc consists of the stimulation of a receptor, activation of a sensory neuron, information processing in the central nervous system, activation of a motor neuron, and the response of a peripheral effector. So what? Why is it important to understand reflexes? Well, reflexes are incredibly important because they don't require you to pause and think. If you accidentally touch something sharp or hot, it's important to immediately withdraw to minimize tissue damage. While the pain receptors in your brain will be notified, which is how you interpret and feel pain, the reflexes occur independent of thought. Have you ever noticed how you withdraw your hand an instant before you actually feel pain? In addition, Specific spinal segments control specific reflexes, so testing the reflexes of a patient can tell a clinician the location and severity of spinal cord damage. 